Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we're here exploring the San Diego Zoo here in San Diego, California. <laughs> Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we're visiting what is considered the best, the most important, the most popular, whatever you want to call it, zoo in the entire world. This zoo is home to more than 3,500 animals of more than 650 species. So yes, you guys, this place is humongous and there is no way you can see everything that there is to see and do here in one single day, but dang it, we're gonna try our best today. The goal for this video is of course very simple, of course to visit some of the many animals that live here and then pick up some lunch or snacks depending on how I'm feeling at the moment and lastly to check out some of the many attractions that you'll find inside so if you guys are interested come with me One of the very first things that you'll see whenever you get to the zoo is this statue of a huge, huge lion in a very cool stance. Let me show you real quick. So this is a statue right here, this huge lion. And as you can see, people use it to take pictures. And over to the right, you'll see this sign over here. Here it tells you that you can get tickets for tours on your phone. So very convenient. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like waiting in line, especially for tickets. I think it's unnecessary. Nowadays, a lot of these places allow you to to get the tickets online and that's exactly what I did in order to avoid these lines right here check it out not a lot of people but if you don't like waiting like myself then you'll try to get yours online so right now we're gonna head over here to the entrance they might ask us to check our bags and stuff we'll see that right now as soon as you cross they don't check your bags but they do give you a cool map and you can pick them up over there you'll also see like the gift shop area to the right i think it's safe to say that we'll be back here when we're heading out for right now i think i'm gonna go ahead and sit down and look at this map to see where we go next so here it is as you can see this place is huge so we're not gonna be able to see everything but when you get the map you can choose whatever interests you the most it's very complicated to choose anything in specific i'm gonna try to go all around all the park and then i'm gonna go through the mid section there's like three different like roads or paths that you can take here this is the map blown up and like I said my strategy is to go all the way around like that and once I'm back to where I started then I'll go uh, here and then I'll go through the mid path right here. if you come here very close to the entrance you'll see this place where you can get uh, tickets for the tours there's a bus tour as you can see they're waiting over there for right now I don't want to take any bus what I want to do is just walk around and see what just the ticket gets you whenever you come to the zoo here in San Diego so over here we're heading to Africa rocks and the elephant Odyssey that sounds like a lot of fun let's check it out whoa 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 check that out you guys I don't know if you can tell or if my camera is showing that but that right there that is a huge elephant check that out it's kind of hiding behind that but it's right there let's see if we can get a better shot try to go around I gotta say it's pretty epic to be standing so close to an elephant of that size wow you guys check it out you know how in the other elephant section you can only see the elephant's butt and its back here you can see it in all its glory check that out that is insane how close you can be from one of these Beast. And there's another elephant right over there, you guys. It's turning our way. Hey, little guy. Wow, look at that stride. So slow. Like every step it gives is just like boom, 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 boom. And just to the right of the elephant section, you can actually check out some llamas even closer than the elephants. Check that out. This one is just right here. And this llama is just laying here. No, that's I thought a, I wasn't gonna notice you, huh? I see you. Whoa, hold the phone, guys. Check that out. That is a lion right there. And it's eating something. Check that out. You got a good view right there. You're such a hunk. And of course, everyone is here to see the lion. Check it out. So that over there, that's the female. And that over there, that's the male. And you can see because it has the mane. Let's take a closer look if we can. Those are the showstoppers right there, you guys. Everyone. 
comes here to the zoo to see them. And uh, funny enough, the lioness, so the female lion, it's bigger than the the male lion. And uh, I don't know why that's the case, but uh, some people did comment and I was like, oh, that's true, the lioness is humongous. I am glad we took a good look at the lions, but I think it's time to move on now. Let's see what else we can find. Hey guys, we're getting to this section right here where it talks about like the animals that lived here many, many years in the past. And here you can see replicas of like their bones and fossils and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Let me show you real quick. Here you can see the replica of a mammoth's tooth. Pretty long. And then you can see more replicas right here. And here you'll see an exhibit in the water of different animals like their fossils. I can see right over there that's a saber-toothed tiger. And over there that's a mammoth skull. Crazy to think how big these animals were back in the day. Actually guys, all throughout the walls of this exhibit, you can see the different replicas of fossils of multiple animals that roamed this part of America many, many thousands of years in the past. Isn't that crazy? Like I said, and I keep saying, wild, wild stuff, you guys. I still have yet to see any arctic animals, but I think I see an exhibit right over here. Let me cross the street before this tour bus gets me. This is where we want to go to take a look, a closer look at the polar bear. Right now it's chilling over there by a rock. So there's one right over there, and I think there's one swimming there too. Check it out. I think it's having lunch, just chilling and relaxing right there. Right now. And the other one is kind of making its way over to that side. Check it out. The bears are kind of elusive. And as soon as I get there, they start leaving to the other side. So unfortunate, but uh, I think I did get some cool shots. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Over here, you can check out some uh, deer species. Look at their legs. They're so tiny. Their legs are so freaking skinny. Check it out. That is so crazy, you guys. It looks like they can just jump this little fence. Don't you think? I just got to this section where you can actually look at zebras. It's so interesting because it tells you here that the stripes tell you what specific species of zebra it is. And check it out. This one, the first one, that's the plain zebra. This one, the mountain zebra. And this one is the gravy's zebra. Kind of cool, right? You can see the zebras right all the way over there. But they actually share this space with other animals from Africa. So the Gyrnuk is right there. I don't know if you can see, but it's at the top of that rock. And the giant elan is... You can see the zebra and the giant elan chilling right over there. Check it out, you guys. Pretty cool. There's this little aviary section right over here. And you can see some really cool birds. Look at that one. It's like spreading its wings. I think it's cleaning them. Wow. Check them out, you guys. Isn't that so cool? That big boy right there was the great white pelican. And right next to that area over there, you can see some flamingos along with a lot of different ducks as you can see. These are not necessarily pink. I see like a more orange hue on them. Still looks really nice. I got a little closer so you could get a better look. Check that out you guys. Don't they look so majestic? It's so crazy. Looking at those, it makes you wonder, right? Like, couldn't they just fly away easily? It looks like they can, but I guess there's something that I don't know. Anyways, I just saw this huge thing right over here to my right. I don't even know what it is, but I'm definitely gonna go up and check it out. I want to take a look at this thing from the top, looking down. Let's go. Whoa, check this out, you guys. This is the view from this side. Whoa, and this is the view from this side. Check that out. There is a restaurant right here, so I might take a bite or a drink. Let's check it out. They don't have a lot of uh, variety, but I don't need that. I, I'm okay with a pizza, so that's what I'm gonna get right now. Got this water, and then they give you this little thing. And when it rings, then your order is ready. So I went to get my food. <laughs> check that out. I, I thought it was gonna be like a lot less. It's $11. And I was like, oh my God, I just paid $11 for just a slice. But it's actually four slices. But the only bad thing is that as soon as I came back, they took my seed. 
and uh, <laughs> that kind of sucks. I wanted to have that view, but it's whatever. So right now I'm just gonna have my lunch and then head back to the trail. So we have a choice to make you guys. Either we go to the monkey trail or the tiger trail. I'm going through the tiger trail. I find that more exciting. I don't know about you guys. The tiger is right over there at the top. All the way up there. Maybe if we keep walking we'll get a better look. Let's see if that's the case. The path keeps going this way. So this is the home of the Malayan tiger. And like I said, it's right over there, right in that corner. It is. Still pacing over there. But check it out you guys, I'm here, we're hitting up Monkey Trail. And here there's some monkeys climbing up on these little structures over here. There they are. Wow, they're so close you guys, check it out. No, don't go! Oh man, there's two other ones over there. Let's check them out. Those monkeys are just having the time of their life, jumping from branch to branch. It's cool to see them just playing with each other. So I think this area over here is gonna be for the gorillas. I guess uh, I have to walk a little bit more over here so I can see them. I found the gorilla. There's a lot of people trying to see them. It looks crazy, they look just like humans. This section right here has to be by far the most popular. There's a lot of uh, people coming and going and a lot of people just stay very close to the glass. I find it really funny. Like a huge attraction of the zoo is just the gorillas sleeping. I'm just gonna move on and let those guys sleep. I think they deserve it. It's almost the end of the day here at the zoo. It's time for a nap. I made it to the other section where you can see other primates. This is the orangutan trail. Check it out. And there's two of them right there so you can see. So this guy is like roaming around all over. That's his method of transportation. Walking is not efficient enough. And this guy's carrying his like blanket or something. Look at him go. He's so funny. There's two more over there. And then there's a bigger one right over there. And everyone is taking pictures. Check it out. I guess I'm one of them. All right, you guys, I think I'm gonna keep going. I think we're already heading to the exit. And just like that, we made it to the exit. So yes, we made it back to the beginning and uh, there's actually people still coming in. Surprisingly, it's like about to be five. There's a gift shop right here and I promised I was gonna come back. So we're gonna go make our way inside. All right, you guys, I just came out of two different gift shops and I got some goods for my family. I strongly recommend checking those places. They have so many things and something that you'll probably like. And I think with that, you guys, we've come to the end of our adventure today and it's time to head to the exit. The exit is right over here. We're almost through, guys. All right, you guys, I don't know if there's a better place to end the video than right here, right by the entrance and right by the statue of the lion where we started the video. If you like the video, I'm gonna ask you to please support the channel by clicking on the like button and subscribing to my channel if you wanna see more interesting travel videos just like this one. Always remember to be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.